It was last year that Darnay Holmes had an epic five touchdown performance to give Cal Bass his first title, but this year he was sick and unable to play, and as the Coyotes prepared for the Division Five final against Capistrano Valley, they relied on a total team effort to fill his shoes. And early on, it didn't look so good as Jebby on Cal Bass's opening drive is picked off by Justin Burt, and then just watch what happens here. That's Spooky Rally House, folks, but the junior had a rough first quarter as he had two fumbles, one that was recovered by Capistrano Valley. The Calabasas defense, however, forced quick three and outs, and Calabasas got into its groove as Jebbia finds BFF and fell on the Brassy commit. Keyshawn Johnson Jr. What a touchdown. It was 7-0 for the Coyotes, but this picked up in the second quarter as Jebbia starts working the ball around, hitting Johnny Wilson. Quick touchdown, and it finds Hunter Nichols. He gets a little seam and does the rest, bursting ahead for the touchdown. It was 21 0 in Calabasas, and the defense started to do its job. Only one first down in the first half. Johnny Williams, interception, takes it back, but unfortunately, this return will be nullified by a penalty. So, we're going to show you what happened next as Jebbia goes back to the freshman, Johnny Wilson. 55 yard touchdown, wide open. 28-0 Calabasas at halftime. Let's pause for the band. Where were we? Ah, yes. Cabo Valley started to get going a little bit as Kevin Brown hits Burke. We're showing this pass because it was the first time Cabo Valley crossed midfield in the entire game. And that made Calabasas a little bit mad because two plays later, Reggie Hughes gets his second sack of the day on Brown. And Calabasas' offense just kept it clicking as Jebbia hits Buki Rally House. It shows his strength and then his speed as he gets to the outside and gets inside the Capitol Valley 10 yard line. And hey, he started it, let him finish it. As Jebbia gets his fifth touchdown pass to Buki, he gets inside. Five touchdowns, as I said, four different wide receivers. This was a well bounce attack. Three different wide receivers from Calabasas had over 100 yards. Jebby finished with 505 yards, including 158 to Junior Nico Hall, who caught 10 passes, including a 41-yarder earlier in the game. As for Capital Valley, the Cougars finally got into the end zone late in the third quarter as Brown hits Jake Werner with a 10-yard pass, giving the Cougars and their fans some life. But as the Cougars mustered up one last scoring drive late in the fourth quarter, Calabasas was already in celebration mode. Even Darnay Holmes, who was less than 100%, came over. And you know what that means. Somebody's getting wet tonight. As the coaches were on the run, trying to avoid the Cougars, as the Calabasas faithful began moseying onto the field, it was only a matter of time because it was time to party as Calabasas won 35-14 to win its second consecutive CIF Southern Section title and then Zach Boyle in the middle was saying, bring him one more time. There's two rings for Calabasas. Jebby and Johnson, the two BFFs, celebrating. The whole team was fired up. And nobody wanted it to end because Calabasas, yeah, we see, got a second straight title and now on the way to see who plays in the state regional final. And as they post the pictures afterwards, it was still all about the one thing they came for, those four words, party with the plaque. Don't jump it!